I never imagined that I would be able to visit one of the seven man-made wonders of the world. Let me tell you about the time that I visited the Great Wall of China. Oh, and by the way, I bought a fountain pen while I was here in China, and as such, will be drawing a picture of the Great Wall from a photo that I took while I was there. So let's get started. With my drawing here, I started off with a pencil so that I uh, could erase my mistakes because I knew that that was going to happen. And it also took me some time to figure out how to work my fountain pen. You put in the cartridge and you got to push hard so that it'll puncture it so that it will then the ink will go through the pen and it'll work. And I just I didn't push hard enough the first few times. So I was sitting there with this scratchy pen and no ink was coming out. But I figured it out soon enough after I YouTubed it. <laughs> and then I did some practicing. I practiced some strokes and I got started. So not too long ago, me and my wife got to go visit the Great Wall of China. We did so while we were in Beijing. But I didn't realize how isolated the Great Wall would be. I mean, of course, it's really big, but it is literally built on the tops of the mountain. So this is not like just, you know, right out of sight of the city gates. You go see it and you're done. We had to take a bus. But the problem was getting that tour bus. We were in Beijing during Golden Week, a Chinese holiday. <laughs> As a result, the day that we wanted to go, the roads were actually closed down because there's going to be like a military parade, um, a government procession or some something. I'm not really sure, but what I do know is that the subways were closed down, most of them, and so were a lot of the roads. And it just so happened that the tour that we had booked, we accidentally booked for the following week. Um, the night before, we realized this mistake. Apparently, the guy that we booked the tour with was unable to take us that following day, which was going to be very busy, but he did offer um, somebody else he knew that was able to take us. Communicating was a little difficult, um, but he spoke English good enough and we were able to tell him where we were going to be waiting so we were just like waiting on one of the city streets and uh, uh, fortunately this guy found us and picked us up and he took us to the Great Wall of China. Um, it's in the woods, in the mountains. Now I climbed up to the entrance and fortunately we were able to take uh, one of two options, hike up to the Great Wall of China or <laughs> my favorite choice, take the trolley, not the trolley, or take the chairlift. So that is what we did. We, we paid the, the extra yuan, which is what Chinese call their money, and we were transported up to the top of the mountain. And it was a fun little ride up there. It wasn't too long. However, I did see a huge spider in the tree as I was going up there. That was scary. Um, we jumped off the chairlift, and we were on the Great Wall of China. Like, that was it. That's all it took to get there. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know what you expect. But when you visit the Great Wall of China, you are there to hike. I mean, you could just look at it, but nobody goes to the Great Wall of China, says, cool, I've seen enough, and then, you know, I'm out of here. So we wanted to take advantage of our time there, and we began hiking. It was honestly, like, pretty amazing. It is timeless. You know, looking out over the mountains, over the trees, and being on this very old structure just took me back in time to when it was built and what life might have been like for the, for the people who built it. Like, I could almost visualize the Huns sneaking through the trees, trying to break into China for whatever reason. Why would they, what did, I mean, I guess to like pillage and steal gold and, I, I don't know, maybe not gold, linen? Hmm. Anyway, it was fun to imagine, and being there really made the history real. <laughs> but <laughs> there was um, these little bugs all over the place, little centipedes, and they were also scary. Um, and it was hard not to step on them sometimes because that's how many there were. And strangely enough, I also ran into like a little cat print in the cement. I don't know how that got there. Some ancient cat walking across the wall, I guess. <laughs> but it was neat to be able to climb into the terraces, you know, the, the towers in the middle of the wall, um, climb on top of them and see the views. All in all, it was a good hike. And um, some of the parts of it was very steep. There was a lot of steps and I got tired doing it. <laughs> I ran up some of the steps too because I was just so excited and wanted to see more. But at the end, we were only hiking it for maybe two hours. I don't know for sure. Um, we didn't get to see even a fraction of it. But what we did see w was beautiful views and it was an amazing place to be. It was really surreal. I never imagined I would have been able to be there. So I wanted to share this picture with you guys. I hope you en enjoyed watching me draw and hearing my story about the Great Wall of China. If you have the chance to visit, I do recommend it. It was, it was a fun hike and a fun day. So I hope that you can try something new, whether it be drawing with a fountain pen or visiting the Great Wall of China or anything in between. 
there's something new to learn every day. So have a good day and remember to smile. <laughs>